Yeah. Body feels really good. Um, I would say it was more of a mental block for me. Um, my teammates were amazing through it, though. It never felt like I was going through it alone. It always felt like they were constantly picking me up when, in reality, like I should have been the one picking them up. And, you know, it was a constant check-ins, like, hey, how are you doing? How's your mental health? How are you feeling physically? Um, and I'm, like, so thankful for that because the year before that, I went through another injury, same time, and I felt like this last year I was able to handle it a lot better than I would have been if I wouldn't have gone through that injury the year before. Definitely. Jalen's amazing. You guys know that. Um, you know, our team this year is going to be a lot different. We have a lot more size than we've had in the past. And I think that we're going to be able to use that to our advantage because we can run, but we're also going to be bigger. Um, like you said, it's not going to be one specific person. It's going to be us as a collective. Right. Uh, first off, John, I love the hair. It's something I haven't seen before. <laughs> um, yeah, I my family, they're all kind of like, wow. <laughs> it's they're awesome. Like, um, I have given it some thought, um, talked to the family about it. You know, it's a big decision. Um, can't say that I've made a decision. Can't say I will make a decision anytime soon. But it is something that has crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think about it more from an academic standpoint where I'm going to get my degree in May and so then does Creighton have my master's program that I want to look into? Um, can my body continue to play basketball after this year? Like, do I want to just get into my career? Um, so there's a lot of questions that go into it. Um, I don't think that there's one thing that would push me over the edge or not. Great question. Um, the only thing I would say is enjoy every single minute of it um, because, you know, like yesterday, I felt like I was a freshman going through the freshman things and now I'm a senior trying to figure out what I'm trying to do next year. Um, but I think one thing that makes our team so cool is that we're so close and we can truly depend on each other for anything. Um, so just enjoying every moment. I know things are different. Like we have to go to dinner with masks on. We have to do everything with masks on as of right now. So it does look a little different, but relationships and friendships are deeper than ever. Hmm. on the team, knowing that these younger players now can kind of look to you the way you can look to the Jalen's and the Olivia's and the Audrey's and things like that throughout your, throughout your career. 
Definitely. Um, a lot of things that I look back on is how Sydney treated me as a freshman, um, how she cared for me, checked up on me, and things like that, which, yeah, it revolved around basketball, but it also revolved around life. Um, and I think on this team, like, we don't have to just be teammates. We can be friends um, and, you know, kind of know what's going on in each other's lives because that does play a role in practice and how someone, how someone shows up to practice, how they're going to perform, stuff like that. So, you know, basketball is a huge part of our lives, but there are other systems in our lives that take precedent sometimes. For sure. Um, I've grown to be comfortable in this position. Energy and effort are the two things that I can bring to practice every single day. And I'm a huge energy person and I feed off of other people's energy. So if I'm the one that can bring that energy, then hopefully others can feed off of that energy as well.